close to 200 joint security personnel from the Royal PNG Constabulary, the Papua New Guinea Defence Force and Correctional Service braved the heat of the Mount Hagen morning sun, marching from the main market to the parade ground at Queen's Park, where the official launch of the 2017 National Election Security Operation took place. Formalities began soon after the arrival of the parade host, Police Commissioner Gary Baki, and Parade Reviewing Officer, Chief Secretary to Government, Ambassador Isaac Lupari. Commissioner Baki, addressing the parade, said the deployment of manpower strength for the joint security operations will be according to the high risk marked areas, especially up here in the highlands. The police commissioner reminded personnel in the joint operation that their job is to assist the PNG Electoral Commission deliver a free, fair and safe elections. Hence, they must enforce their job diligently and ethically. So I encourage you, move away from these opportunities and the temptations of being accepting bribes for politicians or candidates that will require to do things for him. Public perceptions is very much different. And I want you to do your job, as I've said earlier on, diligently and professionally, ethically in the uniforms that you wear, blue, green, and brown, as we go. The eyes of the country is on you and I. It is us that will take this country to elections. It is us to ensure that the environment is secure. It is us that will make sure that our people go and cast their votes without fear and intimidation. For this election, PPCs are tasked to run the show, while the police headquarters will assist with finance and logistics, and Commissioner Baki said he's confident this joint operation will deliver a successful outcome. On that note, he challenged Papua New Guineans to assist the security forces by taking responsibility also of the elections. Chief Secretary to Government Isaac Lupari commended the commanders of the three disciplinary forces for an impressive operation plan which gives the government confidence that these elections will be the best ever for the country. Public servants want to Mibla sit down and Mibla glass in this blood. And we want Mibla commendable operational plan. And only cover him all expect long election. You got a training, logistic, funding. You got enough lo glass in Mossad man by giving Biroa passing time election he come up. This will election fund and the government is fully funded. In up long 121 million government he put inside. You know, making sure that all security personnel blow you me. Or that by supporting, maintaining law and order. Blow you me all get right, can exercise him this blood right. PNG Electoral Commissioner Patelius Gamato, who was present to witness the parade was impressed. For me as electoral commissioner, I'm really impressed. Uh, I, I want to thank the police commissioner, the commander of the PNG Defense Force and commissioner for CS who make up the three uh, disciplinary forces in, in Papua New Guinea. Uh, they will make up the security force to support uh, us in conducting the election. And so uh, to see them come together and uh, have their uh, security plan launch and uh, the launch of the security activities for the election is good and uh, and I think that's that's very important. Ambassador Lupari ended the formalities launching the police radio network to the police command center at the headquarters in Port Moresby, signaling the commencement of the joint security operations for the 2017 national elections. Your Go ahead. Go on. Roger, I'm now officially launching the 2017 national election security operation. Thank you, Roger. Glenda Popo, TV One News, Mount Hagen.